Justin Beal. Thanks for choosing Pyramid Solutions Bridgeway products. Today we'll be going through the unboxing and installation of the BW4031 Ethernet to J1939 gateway. Let's get started. When you open the box, you will find the BW4031 gateway module, a three pin terminal block connector used to supply DC power to the device, a six pin terminal block connector which should be attached to the device used for connecting the module to a J1939 CAN network. You'll also find some helpful literature that tells you where to download the configuration tool as well as the user manual. We'll start by installing the power connector. To perform this part of the installation you will need a small standard screwdriver. The BW4031 DC power supply requirements are 7 to 40 volts DC, with the typical voltage being 24 volts DC. Locate the three position terminal block connector and connect the DC plus and DC minus wires to the connector. Bridgeway 2.0 gateways are designed with noise and transient protection circuitry, but the module must be connected to an earth ground for the circuitry to be effective. Earth ground is separate from the DC power supply ground. Operation without proper grounding can damage the module. Earth ground can be applied through a steel DIN rail using the contact built into the Bridgeway 2.0 case or through the three pin terminal block connector. Next, we will wire the J1939 CAN network connector. To do this, Locate the six position terminal block connector on the bottom of the device. Remember the CAN high and low signal lines should be connected to the CAN high and low connections respectively on all devices on the network. The CAN signal lines should not be swapped on any device connections. The CAN ground wire is for common mode protection and is connected to the CAN ground, not DC or earth ground, of all other nodes on the network. Make sure to connect the CAN high can low and can ground wires to the connector. To install the wire, push down on the orange spring pin, insert the wire, and then release the pin to secure the wire. Please note that the Bridgeway device does not provide can network termination internally. Proper termination should be confirmed during installation. There should only be two 120 ohm terminating resistors on the network and they should be placed at the ends of the network. To check if your network is terminated properly, measure the resistance across CAN high and CAN low with all network connected devices powered off. A properly terminated network will measure approximately 60 ohms. Now that we've confirmed our network termination is correct, with the power off, we can attach our connectors. First, plug the six pin terminal block connector into its port at the bottom of the unit. Then plug the three pin terminal block connector for power into the top of the unit. You are now ready to mount your bridge rate to the DIN rail. First, open the DIN rail mount locking tab on the back of the device. Hook the device onto the DIN rail top first, push it all the way down, and then push the locking tab up. If you ever need to unmount the device, simply use a small standard screwdriver to pull the DIN rail locking tab down, and then lift the device off the rail. Now we need to connect the Ethernet network. Simply plug the Ethernet RJ45 cable connector into the RJ45 socket located on the front of the device. With everything connected, you can now power up the bridgeway. Once powered, the device will go through a short boot sequence lasting less than 10 seconds, while the status light will blink 5 times. Your Bridgeway BW4031 is now ready for configuration. See other BW4031 videos for further info.